Should you work with a solo agent or a real estate team? And the differences between the two. Hi friends, I'm Shannon Tully. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to explore the differences between a solo real estate agent and real estate teams and the differences between both options to help you make the best choice for your real estate needs. Let's go. What are solo agents? Also known as individual real estate agents or solo practitioners, they're licensed real estate professionals who work independently without being part of a larger real estate team or group. Here are some characteristics of a solo agent. Independence. Solo agents work on their own, handling all aspects of their real estate transactions from client interactions to marketing and paperwork. Single point of contact. Clients working with solo agents have a single point of contact throughout their real estate journey. This provides a consistent and direct line of communication, minimizing confusion and misunderstandings. Personalized service. Solo agents often pride themselves on providing highly personalized and tailored service to their clients as they focus on building rapport and individual relationships. Complete knowledge. A solo agent typically maintains a comprehensive understanding of all details related to their clients' transactions, ensuring consistency and continuity. Autonomy. Solo agents have the autonomy to make decisions independently, which can lead to a more streamlined and efficient process in most client cases. Now, in contrast, what are real estate teams? A real estate team is a group of licensed real estate professionals who collaborate within a larger organization or brokerage. These teams can take on many forms, ranging from as few as two people to more than two dozen. Team functions can also be organized in several different ways, but here are some characteristics of a real estate team. Collaboration. Real estate teams consist of multiple team members, each possibly specializing in different aspects of the real estate process, such as listing specialists, buyer's agents, administrative staff, and marketing experts. Diverse expertise. Teams often offer a wide range of expertise and specialization, allowing clients to access professionals with various skills and knowledge. Increased availability. With multiple team members, there's typically more availability for clients, ensuring swift responses and service even during busy periods. Resource sharing. Team members can share resources such as marketing materials, administrative support, and market insights, potentially enhancing the scope of the services that are provided. Decision-making. Decision-making within a real estate team may involve multiple team members, which can add a layer of complexity to certain aspects of the transaction. It's important to note that both solo agents and real estate teams can and do excel in providing quality service to their clients. While some clients value the personalized attention of a solo agent, Others may appreciate the resources offered by a team. It's important to note that one of the biggest concerns related to choosing a real estate team is the flow of communication through the team members related to client matters. A team structure is much more likely to have issues with regard to communication than solo practitioners. But in the end, the decision between a solo agent or a real estate team comes down to what aligns best with your unique needs and preferences. So I hope this video was helpful. Please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe so that you can continue to get more great content like this. And for personalized assistance with your Downers Grove or DuPage County real estate needs, you can find a link to book an appointment in the video description below. And for more information on how to interview real estate agents, take a look right here in three, two, one, go.